Good morning, everybody. I know Taco Steel is like, nope, I'm not gonna work today. <laughs> hey, uh, I told you that I was gonna be there by 7.50. The, my um, appointment, the doctor's at 8.45, so if I leave school by 8.20 and the traffic on I-75, I won't make it, so I created this video. So it's gonna be easier to understand, but I will be there after my appointment. So all of you will uh, receive a link through GroupMe and in our team. So just click on that link. I share with you the agenda. So it's gonna look like this. All right. So this is our PL agenda for today. Thank you so much for for being there and uh, I want to just give some type of guidance before I uh, get there so you guys uh, use your time wisely and uh, this is our new format for the agenda <clears throat> we um, we updated obviously our key actions you will have the CIP already here for you for review and try to use that always for our um, decision process but well, here is uh, today the point that I wanted to uh, check with you. First of all, was, do you know this, the, the code is um, created by Ms. Ledesma? I know that she was having some problems, uh, issue, um, well, creating it last week, but if not, don't worry, we are going to um, keep, keep those hours and uh, we will make sure that we pay for, for that work. Today, um, please uh, use your our PL application and other two documents. One is going to be the PL coaching rubric and the PL continuum. You can find all these in the toolbox, which is in here. This is the rubric, all right, and this is the continuum. Most likely, the rubric is the one that we are going to um, use most because all those faces are um, uh, include many of the PDs that we dis that we are going to discuss for the entire semester, not only for next week. Uh, and the reading continuum also, this is just for um, the PL campus team and what is the other one? I know the social emotional learning and, our, oh, and the personalized PD. Other ones that you should kind of look through them and, 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 and try to have those ideas to create an effective PD. But well, going back to the agenda, once you review those, please have some chart paper or if you want to go ahead and start using the slides so you can identify the big rocks of our campus. I know the data is gonna be something that Mr. Robles and myself are gonna be working on today so we can have those ready for our GLC meeting on Wednesday. So, but in the meantime, we know what kind of we want to do for our um, PD on next week. Ms. Dumas has in front of you um, uh, some of the ideas for Tuesday. FYI, for Tuesday is gonna be only three, five specials and, and uh, who else? I think that's it. Three, five and specials at our campus because K2 will be in a different training the whole day. So whatever we decide to do on Tuesday, either can be replicated for a K2 and, and another day or use Thursday in a different time for K2 to have some type of sessions. All right, are you with me? Now, we're going to, get, once you, uh, identify what we should be working on. We're gonna create a timeline for the first uh, the first semester PD, including of course, like I say, next week and every following Tuesday. Keep it in account that when we have data talks and all that, we are not gonna have PD on those days. It will be more like working day, but all that is already in front of you in the calendar and also in the calendar of events. Now, we are going to update the PD worksheet. Ms. Ms. Zumas is uh, where we have the kind of event is one of the first worksheets. We just need to um, delete all that from last year and put the information that you just uh, discussed. Now, once we have this part, it's time to work on the agenda for that day. It's a session style, like a conference. I know that many of you went to the PL cruise. Take that as a guidance. 
that that um, sheet of paper that has divided in, in, in different squares and who is going to give it and what is that for so that can have um, so three five teachers have some type of guidance and finally uh, the divided teams in PD not everybody needs to create uh, different PDs, but this is what our this is where our creativity will come into place in regards. I don't know, 45 minute session, and then we rotate, and then many you only give the first session, but not the second one, so you can go and attend another one. So let's. It's no, I know it doesn't uh, seem easy, but it's like the idea. And um, once we divide. Well, once we have the, the subject, the, the topics, let's go ahead and work in teams, brainstorm ideas for building activities meets Dumas, and then work on your session. By this time, probably I will be back in, the, in on campus and I will be helping you. I will be working on data again, so this is on you guys. And if you need anything, Dumas is there. Uh, Mr. Robles will be back um, after the discipline training. And um, that's it, so let's make it work. Thank you everybody again for being there and see you in a couple of hours. So in two hours, we'll see you, all right? If you have any questions, please text me, all right? Bye.